I'm gearing up for another awesome year in the home brewery and today we're making 7 home brewery upgrades. Each of these changes will make my home brewery more efficient and more convenient to use so I can focus on the finer details. First up is a new mill. I'm swapping out my three roller hand crank grain mill for the Maltzilla and to save a few bucks I'm powering it with power tool batteries. If you want to see how I did that I'll leave a link to that video below. The Maltzilla grain mill has diamond coated rollers that can leave the entire husk intact, reduce the chance of a stuck mash and improve efficiency. It also has an integrated motor and a super compact form factor. I really don't think you could find a better value mill in the US, especially if you set it up like this to work with 18 volt batteries. Next up, I'm adding the shelf to the brew cube that holds my brew tools B40. This thing just bolts right on and it's just one example of how modular this system can be. This shelf is made from super thick stainless steel and you can use it to hold anything from a chiller to an ice cold beverage but in my case I'm going to use it to hold the controller for my Brutools B40 which brings me to the next upgrade. For number 3 I'm relocating the controller. With the kettle flipped upside down the first thing I need to do is completely disconnect the controller. As I unplug each cord, I'm marking what it goes to so I can easily put it back together and once everything is unplugged, I can remove the screen. With the controller removed, I cleaned the frame and then installed a blank cover to seal it up. Now it's time for the frame. This thing is designed to hold the controller and it's as easy as installing a few bolts. With that out of the way, it's time for the extension cord. One side gets plugged into the cords we just unplugged under the kettle and the other side gets plugged into the controller. And finally, I'll just do a bit of cable management under the kettle, flip it back over and check it out. It looks like it's working. The next update is installing longer latches on the mash basket. With systems like this that have a center column for recirculation, you can accidentally lift the basket too high when draining to the kettle and disconnect the recirculation. With longer latches, there's more overlap in that center column and I can confidently lift the basket while recirculating. That brings me to number five. I'm swapping from the Brutools mash hat to the Brutools mash manifold. This thing eliminates all the splashing and I don't think I'll need to use the sparge manifold anymore. I've been just leaving the mash manifold on after the mash, continuing to recirculate and slowly raising the basket with this next upgrade. Number 6 is the lift and lock pulley system. I suspended a carabiner from my garage rafters just at arm's reach and that's where I'll attach the top pulley. The second one clips on to the mash basket. It's super easy to lift a full basket and it's ratcheting, so I can stop anywhere and the pulley will support the weight of the basket without me holding on. And finally, number seven. I'm giving my Brutools B40 a nice little neoprene jacket. This adds some insulation and gives you a cleaner look because stainless is kind of hard to keep shiny. Now, you could almost call this a bonus upgrade. It's time for a deep clean before we break in all the new changes. I gave the brew cube surface a little bit of oil, CIP'd and sanitized the B40, and so far I've brewed two batches with the new setup that you'll see sometime soon. The mill is working great and I'm learning the best gap settings to use for different things. It's also pretty slow milling, but I really can't complain. The shelf and the screen work really well together and I feel like I keep a closer eye on the screen now. Plus, it's great for filming and I've been having some fun playing around with different shots. And the mash basket setup is a dream. The mash manifold is a huge improvement and yanking the grains with the longer latches and the lift and lock is a game changer. I've been trying to keep the bottom of the basket as close as possible to the surface in the kettle and just slowly raise it up while recirculating and then sparging. Guys, I'm stoked. The brewery is better than ever and I'm ready to focus on the finer details. What are we going to learn? What are we going to try? If you have some ideas or things you want to see, let me know in the comments. My name's Dan. This is Hops and Gnarly. Thanks for hanging out with me today. I'll see you again soon.